Defense noted. Judge Joseph Dredd is one of the many infamous street judges in the Judge Dredd universe, which was set in a post-apocalyptic city known as Mega City 1. As a judge, he essentially acted as the judge, jury, and executioner, and he even inspired the popular song I Am The Law by the American trash band known as Anthrax. Judge Dredd was known to be harsh to anyone who even broke the law in the slightest, and he doled out stringent punishment to any lawbreaker. In doing so, he sometimes went to great lengths and even did some unspeakable things in the name of withholding the law, and today we will explore some of the evilest things done by Judge Dredd. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Court's adjourned. Judge Dredd killed his own brother. Judge Dredd actually had a clone brother named Rico Dredd, and this cloning program was set in place years ago by Chief Justice Eustace Fargo. Fargo wanted to ensure that the leaders could carry their legacy forward for ages to come, and he had implanted a cloning program to preserve some of the judges. In fact, Judge Dredd and Rico Dredd were both clones of Judge Fargo. While Judge Dredd was the perfect judge who delivered swift justice, Rico turned up to be the black sheep and committed various crimes such as blackmail, corruption, and even murder. When Judge Dredd learned about his brother's crimes, he sent him to a penal colony on Saturn's moon, Titan. This prison was specifically designed for corrupt judges, and these prisoners' bodies were mutilated so that they could fit breeding equipment on them instead of providing them with spacesuits. After this painful transformation, Rico vowed to return to Mega City 1 and exact his revenge. After returning, he went after Dredd, who shot at Rico without batting an eyelash, and finally killed his brother. He abused and bullied his only friend. Judge Dredd preferred his own company and liked to stay alone, and he had mostly dedicated his entire life to work. He would even sleep for just 10 minutes with the help of a sleep machine, and he essentially had no social life as he spent most of his time on the streets of Mega City 1. However, Dredd had one friend before these sleep machines were introduced. He used to spend time with his landlady, Maria, as well as his robotic friend Walter, the Wobot. This robot was introduced in a story arc titled Robot Wars, and he served as a foil to Dredd's character. Walter would often make fun of Dredd or mimic his actions in a joking manner, and Dredd eventually had enough of him and kicked him out in the streets. While Walter only ever wanted to be Dredd's friend, he got tired of Dredd's bullying and then decided to take revenge after being kicked out. Walter led a tiny rebellion against Dredd and even shot him in the process, and it is a shame to think that all of it could have been avoided if Dredd didn't bully his only friend when Judge Dredd took over the U.S. Initially, the U.S. government did interfere in the judges' activities and even tried to stop them. In fact, the judges actually served under the orders of the U.S. government from 2031 to 2070 until Robert L. Booth was elected as the president of the USA. President Booth was an authoritarian isolationist who even tried to interfere in the works of the judges and other world governments. His actions finally gave way to the Third World War, and Booth ordered the U.S. Army to occupy various industrial points worldwide. Worldwide. Eventually, multiple nations and the mega cities protested his actions, and Booth declared that they should give up or else he would nuke every single country and alliance. This war caused a lot of large scale damage to the entire world, and various places become uninhabitable wastelands as a result of this nuclear war. Eventually, many survivors migrated to the mega cities, hoping for a better future, and the judges then decided to take matters into their own hands. Dredd, as well as the other judges, marched to the White House and then deposed. President Booth before finally taking over his position of authority and declaring that the USA is no more. After this point, the USA did not exist anymore, and the judges assumed all power and became the judge, jury, and executioners of the law. Judge Dredd, the murderer of democracy. The judge system was essentially authoritarian in nature, and it marked the end of democracy in Mega City 1. In this manner, all the judges enabled the fascist state of Mega City 1 and became enablers of this system, which had murdered democracy. In a story titled A Letter to Judge Dredd, a man named Scholey put forth his views about this system and its impact on regular citizens. He put forth his opinion about how Mega City 1 should be democratic, and he had once even participated in a peaceful protest for the same issue. 
The judges had brutally attacked the protesters, and Sholi suffered multiple severe injuries, including a brain injury that caused him to suffer from violent delusions for the rest of his life and even led him to commit murder. A young boy named Wenders then questioned why the judges attacked the peaceful protesters, but things took an unfortunate turn when Wenders was brutally murdered by Sholi. All these events served as a wake-up call for Judge Dredd, who briefly retired from this system. However, these events takes place in a future timeline, which means that Judge Dredd is still serving this facet system that violates the laws of democracy and harms the citizens of Mega City 1. When Judge Dredd mercilessly executed those who surrendered. In a debut storyline written by John Wagner and Carlos Ezquiera, the judges were first introduced as the enforcers of justice who had complete authority to take any action against a criminal. Right from the start, Judge Dredd is presented as an unsympathetic character who does not hesitate to end others' lives. And this storyline even shows the harsh reality of this severe form of ruling in Mega City 1. When Judge Dredd arrives at the robbery scene, a few criminals surrender themselves and submit to the law. However, Judge Dredd then orders all of them to get down on their knees and mercilessly shoots a bullet in the back of their heads. Judge Dredd's shocking actions were considered a little inappropriate for the audience. This debut storyline was then replaced with an alternate story wherein Dredd only executes people as a form of self-defense. He treated the helpless mutants as monsters. During the nuclear war of 2070, North America suffered drastic consequences and the entire place turned into a nuclear desert. It was then referred to as the Cursed Earth and very few beings managed to survive the war. These victims of the war had been exposed to radiation due to nuclear weapons, and they were disfigured and even treated as monsters. While some of these mutants lived outside Mega City 1, a majority of the mutants migrated to Mega City in the hopes of a better future. Some judges did view them as humans, but Judge Dredd, as well as many other judges, considered them to be monsters. Judge Dredd even went as far as executing these mutants whenever they attempted to move to Mega City 1. These mutants were banished from the city and forced to live in the barren wasteland surrounding the place. Dredd's view of the mutants changed during the origin story arc, wherein he discovered that some were his relatives. However, he did order them to get sterilized before entering the city, which still shows that he did not fully view them as victims or regular humans. He did not hesitate to nuke an entire city. In the Apocalypse War plotline, Judge Dredd's Mega City 1 was targeted by another city known as East Meg 1. During this invasion, the Soviet judges of East Meg 1 attacked Mega City 1 with nuclear missiles and caused large-scale death and destruction. After over 400 million citizens died, the entire city was buried under rubble and ruin. Judge Dredd could not bear to see this happen and decided to lead a guerrilla resistance against the Soviet judges. He finally managed to capture one of their missile bunkers and devised a plan to redirect the nuclear missiles towards East Mag 1 instead. The Soviet judges begged him to reconsider and even told him that around half a million people would lose their lives if he went ahead and nuked the city. However, Judge Judge Dredd has made up his mind and pressed the button that finally wiped out an entire city in just a matter of seconds. Judge Dredd ran over a deaf, innocent mother and left her child an orphan. During one particular story arc, Judge Dredd once ran over a deaf lady who was innocent and had not done anything wrong. The innocent deaf lady even had a child and this child was then orphaned due to Dredd's drastic action. While Judge Dredd mercilessly killed a deaf woman and left her helpless child to fend for himself, he did not show remorse over his actions. He did not even look back or try to do something for the orphan, and this event truly captures Judge Dredd's cold-hearted nature. What is Judge Dredd's unique brand of ethics? Judge Dredd's actions come across as evil, but he did not break the law in his eyes and only followed his own ethics. While most of his actions are pretty horrid, he perceived them as his way of upholding the law and ensuring that justice is served in any situation. He was even known for his impartial and honest ways of applying the law on the streets of Mega City 1, and Judge Dredd tried his best to uphold the morals of the judge system. While he can be extreme in some scenarios, he eventually becomes a more moral character who realizes that some of his actions may not be right. He did have flaws and his character did some unspeakable things, but he sometimes showed regret after using force. He even tried to cause minimal harm to civilians and also do his best to protect the people of Mega City 1 and some storylines also explored his inner conflict regarding the ethics of his actions. Of course, Judge Dredd only acted in the interest of Mega City 1 at the end of the day and believed that he was justified in his methods to enforce the law. He would not hesitate to harshly punish criminals or even commit acts that might violate violate certain human rights in the modern day, and his character even serves as a parody that makes the audience think about the actions of law enforcers.
Conclusion To sum it up, Judge Dredd has truly performed some horrifying actions to uphold the law, and he certainly went to great lengths to punish people. While his actions cannot always be justified, his extreme behavior did increase the popularity of this franchise and made him quite an iconic character. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Peace.